Hey everyone, this is Yarrow again. It's a beautiful Monday morning here in Toronto and I'm doing the fourth video for the ongoing case study series of my product launch or the relaunch of Blog Mastermind. Now today I have uh, a pretty straightforward day actually. I'm collecting testimonial interviews for the sales page for, for Blog Mastermind. So what this involves is actually uh, setting up some interviews with some of the past and present students of my program and recording either a video or an audio interview with them talking about their experiences with the program. Very short interviews between two and six minutes, uh, very casual. And I'm doing this a little bit differently than what you might normally see in a sales page. I'm actually using my Mac to record a two-way video conversation. Now, before I jump into how I do that, I just want to explain what's the point of a testimonial. Now, most of you probably are very familiar with what a testimonial is. It's some form of direct, uh, genuine feedback from an average person who has used your product, and they talk about it, hopefully, in a positive way. Obviously, you won't use a testimonial that's negative. Now, with the benefit of having released my product prior, so I've already had this product in the marketplace, I have people who've taken part in it, and therefore they can give me a testimonial. You may not have that luxury with your product, However, that doesn't mean you can't collect testimonials in some shape or form. You can do that by giving away a free preview version of your product, in which case you just say, can I have people who would like to review my product in return for providing some kind of testimonial? And you can do that simply by going to a forum, in a, a forum that has a, a related uh, market to the market you're going to be selling your product in. That way you'll get the right type of people. Or you can just ask your blog readers if you're a blogger. In my case, when I first launched Blog Mastermind, I didn't, I didn't have customers, so I, had, I didn't have people who had taken my program, but I did have a back catalog, not really catalog, a back audience of people who had taken part in something that I'd done. So they've either read my blog, they've been on my newsletter, they'd read the Blog Profits Blueprint, something like that. So I had places where I could draw uh, testimonials from, from people who would give me feedback about my work. So they would have learned something from me and I could make use of that. That's, of course, the type of testimony you get from the, the general everyday person off the street who then took part in your program or bought your product. That's a great testimonial. That's, in my opinion, uh, well, maybe equally as powerful as getting a, recommended, a recommendation from an expert, someone with credibility. So, for example, I had some of the bloggers who I worked with to produce some interviews for Blog Mastermind, like Darren Rouse. Or, or Rose, depending how you say it, Brian Clark, uh, you know, Andy Wibbles, all these guys who I interviewed, I had a relationship with them, so I actually asked them for testimonials as well, or I actually took the comments they provided for reviewing the Blog Profits Blueprint. So there's all kinds of ways you can go about this process of actually getting a testimonial. Today, though, I'm spending my entire day doing interviews using Skype, and I want to show you how to do this because it's a pretty powerful way of getting some really good quality uh, it, video interviews in this case, that's a little bit different. Um, you know, I've seen some sales pages where you've got people standing in front of a camera and they're talking about how good an event is or how good a product is. They're fantastic. Now, I haven't run an event and I didn't have any way to meet these people face to face, so I've decided to set up Skype conversations to record these interviews. So, within the last three minutes we've got here, let me show you how to do that. Obviously, the first thing you need is Skype. Skype is a, a voice communication software, so you can talk for free if both people have Skype. And the real, beautiful thing about Skype, it also has a built-in video uh, function as long as you both have a webcam. And obviously, I'm talking on my Mac, so I have a webcam. The other thing you will need for Skype is some kind of recorder to record the actual conversation. So if you're a Mac user, you can go to... Uh, call recorder. It's actually called Call Recorder. So you can just look up Call Recorder for Skype in Google and you'll find that. It's produced by Ecamm. And if you're a Windows user, you have Pamela. Pamela for Skype. I've used both. They're both pretty good. The thing with Pamela, you probably can only record um, audio with that. I'm not sure if Pamela now supports video or not. You'd have to uh, see if I see anything about video. It does say Skype video recording. Okay, there you go. So Pamela and Mac Call Recorder will both record video. I don't think Pamela will do the picture in a picture that I'm going to show you, but I'm not sure. Uh, I haven't used Pamela since I switched to Mac a few months ago. And the outcome from doing this is to get a testimonial that looks like this. So I'll just quickly press play. This is a little bit blurry because it's on YouTube. Yeah, Stark here from Blog Mastermind again. I have another uh, member of the blog. So as you can see with that, I have a, a small picture of me. That's the picture in a picture. And that's Wangi who did a testimony for Blog Mastermind last week. And I'm going to be recording several more of these today as part of my ongoing behind the scenes work on this launch. The great thing about that is I get a live interview with a student. 
and you get to see my face, so it's a bit more interesting with a two-way conversation. I could just take away that picture in a picture, or I could actually use side-by-side uh, -side frames. You've got a lot of options. I'm going to use it that way because I quite like it that way, and it's a great way to get some genuine comments. So once again, this is what um, obviously Skype looks like. You've seen that before, and Call Recorder is here, very small little piece of software. So all I do is call up the person, make sure the video is working, hit this button here, it's the record button, and once I'm done, I press the stop button, and I'll have this file, and all I have to do is um, just upload it straight to YouTube or any video sharing service, or you can stick it on your own server, and you have a great testimonial. So, you know, it's not something that is uh, easy to do in the sense that you do have to set up the interviews in, you know, beforehand, you have to have, you know, got some kind of relationship with these people in order for them to want to do a, a, uh, an interview with you, and to provide some genuine feedback, but if you can, especially after your product's been in the market for a while, do some kind of interviews to get testimonials like this. It really lends a lot of credibility. And it's really important in today's marketplace to show that you know any person can benefit from your product. You don't have to just be an expert. You don't have to be in a special situation. Anyone who can you know follow instructions can, can benefit from what you're offering. And that's pretty much all I have to say for this video today. Uh, testimonials are, I think, mandatory. So whether you use them in your launch process, on your sales page, wherever it is, you need to have some kind of testimonial. Uh, it just enhances your, your message so much. And it's important for credibility and, and proof. So you know, make sure you have something like that available when you go to market with your product. All right, I'm going to stop this before the cuckoo clock goes crazy because it can be a bit annoying. And uh, that pretty much wraps up the call. So if you're um, interested in the previous calls in this series, you know what to do. They're available on my blog, which has that entrepreneurs-journey.com or do Google search for my name, Yaro, Y-A-R-O, and you'll find the previous videos in this series there. Check out my YouTube channel if you want to find them. You can find them there as well. Or of course, uh, you know, just, just do a Google search and you can get all my back catalog of content and podcasts and so forth. That's it for me, everyone. My name is Yaro Stark, and I'll speak to you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.